If 20 minutes becomes two hours, this is something that every commuter will have to worry about. Now, to discuss more on what is happening as far as this traffic situation in the maximum city Mumbai is concerned, I'm now joined on the broadcast by Mr. Shailesh Sinha, who is the CEO of the Traffic People Foundation. Mr. Sinha, thank you so much for joining me on Mirror Now. Now, I just wanted to understand this. Is this Mumbai's way of dealing with infrastructural errors? Because most of the Mumbai usually is dug up. You know, I am not a Mumbaiker, but from the report that my colleague Shweta has filed for me, this is something that really comes about every now and then. So just, uh, you know, your views on this entire flyover being shut till the 24th of May. See, we need to understand the geography of Mumbai roads. It's either vertical or perpendicular. You get my point? Because in Delhi, what you mentioned, yes. it's a circular thing. If you have to go from Kanaut Place to Noida, there are so many options. If Barakamba is closed, KG Mag is there. KG Mag is closed, Janpat is there. Then Baba Khadasi Mag is there. There are so many options in Delhi because it's a circular city. Mm -hmm. But in Mumbai, it's, it's a straight city, north and south and east and west, right? So all the things, it's either uh, straight or you know, correcting points. The JVLR is a very uh, important road for uh, Mumbai cars because it connects us to Pawai and Western Express Highway and East Express Highway. So we need to just uh, uh, think on the lines from the, you know, authority part also that they are preparing for future because, you know, monsoons are just about to, uh, you know, come. And if the repairs are not being done, the scenario would be much, much, much difficult for Mumbai cars. So I would say, I mean, uh, yeah, the, uh, as of now, the situation is poor, bad, but as a commuter, uh, we need to understand that certain steps authority needs to take for your safety, for your convenience in future, because Mumbai rains are, as it is, very popular when it comes to, you know, monsoon floods, which is always on the road when the heavy rains are there. So uh, JVLR is a point which connects uh, Eastern Express Highway, Western Express Highway, though other roads are there, Kanjur Marg is there, I guess, which would be, which would be help, helping uh, the commuters. But my point here is that there has to be a right communication because we are living in a digital era. So we need to uh, have the messages coming onto our phones on a very regular basis that if anyone is uh, uh, move, uh, moving towards JVLR, he can, he can either take that uh, um, uh, the roads Kanjur Marg and other roads, uh, uh, all the other roads around the uh, around the JVLRs. This is what I can say. I mean, but the communication has to be there. It has to be there in the paper, uh, WhatsApps, and uh, messages. But Mr. Sinha, you know, help me understand this, if at all. I mean, it's it's not it's it's not a comparison of Delhi and Mumbai, but I really want to understand shutting an entire flyover and not really doing it, let's say, in the wee hours when the traffic movement is less. Uh, you yeah. know, couldn't it have been done on a halfway basis like things are there? Because we have an expressway, let's say, in, uh, you know, in Delhi NCR. If at all there is a repair, repair work happening, half of it is shut. Of course, this impacts traffic, but they can't shut the entire stretch. Here, it, there is an entire flyover that's been shut and there is a date given, 24th of May. And this is going to, obviously, like you rightly mentioned, perpendicular roads along the seabed. This is going to have a, a massive impact on the people who this is part of their daily commute. See, I'll tell you again one thing very clearly, that it's a preparation for monsoon, number one. And yes, I have always been mentioning across all the channels that, you know, if you are preparing or repairing any road, we need to, the authority needs to take some tips from the Delhi DMRC. I mean, I always bring DMRC in picture because they have made the whole of Delhi a metro city, right? And practically, there has not been much of traffic uh, snarls when it comes to, you know, uh, you, you are from Delhi, you would know that how the things happen. I mean, the metros are being made, but the traffic is not that bad here, right? So there are certain tips which needs to be taken from these authorities also. And Mumbai has said it's not a circular city. There are no options. The volume of traffic, I mean, when it comes to density of traffic, Mumbai has the maximum you know, density in terms of the road and car ratio. So we need to understand this thing uh, that uh, this is a problem and which would be there till 24th of May. But yes, if, because ah, there, there is a metro also on the same stretch, if I'm not mistaken, right? So if commuters are there, they can use metro, then more, take more use of metro so that you are at least saving the time on your own self and also helping traffic not to get jammed because of you. So it is also a 
social responsibility from a mumbaiker also not to use that stretch because end of the day the authorities are practically helping you out in terms of better commit uh, commuting in the coming time this is what i can say yeah you're talking about the long run mr sinha obviously the onus has to be half of it is on the commuters like uh, social responsibility that you just mentioned but what is the long term solution how can the maharashtra government and the mumbai administration really avoid this mess that has been created when it comes to the traffic snarls that have been reported out of the place see i'm really happy that you know you have uh, picked up this point for people uh, as a as such in terms of it's also again a responsibility what you're showing so what i am again saying that social media is so very strong across mumbai is very fast city so any communication which has to flow can flow very well so jvlr and all the you know stretches i'll just share a uh, few points that what roads needs to be uh, i mean see there are ra colony road the person who is actually moving towards jvlr shall go in for an rn rl uh, ra colony uh, alternative then uh kranti vi lakhuji salve marg is there then you know maroshi village road so there are other options also if the communication is right just before somebody landing on to jvlr if he has the information he can take the kranti vi road ra colony road uh, maroshi road you know a uh, tunga road and because it also connects you to pavai pavai is a very important uh, part of mumbai pavai lake the uh, you know so i think that alternate routes should should be communicated to each and every one and longer run yes it is good but at a shorter run only communication works communication as in people are told they know the information and they would be definitely helping because nobody wants to create ruckus if we have information uh, well in hand so probably we would not even you know go to that road because we have options also though i am saying that like delhi mumbai doesn't have such kind of option but still if 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 needed things can be really taken care well ji Absolutely. All right, Mr. Shailesh Sena. Thank you so much for joining us uh, with your valuable inputs on the broadcast. Remember, we are talking about a main stretch in Maximum City, Mumbai, the Jogeshwari Vikroli flyover that stands shut till the May 24th, and that, of course, is causing a lot of traffic snarls in the Maximum City. We here on the broadcast are trying to actually see if there is a possible solution for the commuters so that they don't end up getting stuck in hours of traffic jams. in mumbai on our note i'm slipping into a very short break here on mirror now news and updates continue on the other side stay tuned